Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, I know it's been a while but anyways I'm back with another ROM review and uh, well to kick start that off I'm getting into the Pixel Experience ROM for the OnePlus 3 so stay tuned for that. So guys the Pixel Experience ROM, it is one of the best ROMs available for any number of device actually and uh, as the name suggests it gives you the straight up experience on a Pixel, right? It doesn't have all the features which you would find in many other custom ROMs like uh, many would consider them as bloatware but Pixel Experience ROM has been there with all the essential features which I would consider as a great addition to the Pixel experience and uh, it works really well. So let's get started now. First of all what you would see here is the launcher. The, it is the Pixel launcher so you have the basic amount of settings here. Let's go to the settings now. In the about phone page in the settings menu you will see that it is OnePlus 3 so that's pretty cool. And you will have uh, the Android version is 9 of course. The kernel version is uh, 318138 that is the version which it comes. I haven't flashed any custom kernel on this one but I have heard people uh, flashing custom codes to get a little bit more performance or battery life so that is totally up to you so yeah that's it in the about phone page now let's get to the ROM itself as I've already said this is pixel experience ROM so that means that it is going to give you all the features or all the uh, things you get with the pixel experience maybe not duplex or something like that but others uh, like the always on listening mode for songs and all that that is available in this ROM and it works really well so let's get started now first of all before all that everything is working I have been using Geo and Vodafone Geo VLD is working you do have that annoying little uh, HD symbol on the status bar which is there now apart from that let's get to the extra features uh extra features to speak of it does have a display mode where you have live display which is actually pretty cool i really like that so you can select the uh, night mode and outdoor brightness mode and all that i prefer this to night light because uh you have an option to tweak the day display also uh, not just the night display and i really like that and you can actually disable that also if you don't want that it also has an automatic brightness mode which does increase the brightness whenever you are outdoors so it, is, it does aid in the um, visibility apart from that it does have adaptive brightness which is pretty cool uh, display size font size customization ambient display options are available with the new notification and the uh, hand wave pocket mode is all available which is really cool always on mode is also available which I personally do not use now now playing is the one which I was talking about it does have now playing option and I have tried it out and it works really well it, uh, it even uh, picks up all the obscure anime songs which I listen to and it's pretty cool it works out really well uh, it does drain a little bit more battery if you have it turned on but it is actually a good thing if you're going to a cafe where there is a radio playing in the background if you want all the songs there and I mean you can just turn it off and have your normal chat and when you are out of the cafe and you just want to check this out uh, you do get the uh, history of it and it works really well apart from that pocket detection when it's in the pocket is available double tap to sleep on the status bar themes are available it does have a dark mode and light mode it doesn't have the blackout mode which I would have preferred color options are also available where you can select the pixel uh, blue or even orange all these are available you can customize that default is the pixel blue one sound options ba basic stuff are available sim 1 and sim 2 uh, notification or ringtones can be selected separately which is pretty cool fingerprint authentication vibration can be enabled or disabled it does have Dirac uh, sound enhancer which is pretty cool so uh, personally I don't use much of it but uh, it is available for those who wants to use that apart from that one thing which I do want to mention is that I am on a non encrypted device the XDA front page still says that the issue there is an issue with encryption I have heard people using this on an encrypted device and didn't have any issues with that uh, personally I have not tried it so uh, just keep that in mind though that is in the extra features in the system options you do have button customization that is a few of the extra features you get with this ROM uh, disable on lock screen that's the power button long press for torch is available with accident automatically turning off uh, volume button wake and control playback is available it doesn't have the keyboard cursor control uh, backlight controls are available where you can customize that home button and reason button can be customized for all of these options which is minimal but it 
very very useful i use double tap uh, the home button for screen off it works really well now status bars are available where you can customize stuff in here so display mode for the network traffic indicator is available you can enable that and it will show network traffic indicator if you don't have it enabled right now it is showing in the middle but just a restart will get it to the side so don't get, don't don't have any issues with that system icons can be customized what all appears in the status bar 4d instead of lte vlt icon can be enabled if you want it uh personally i mean because of the hd icon i normally give it off so uh disable all screen is available for the status bar uh expansion so the quick settings gestures are available where you have jump to camera by double tapping the power button which is pretty nice swipe to screenshot is available which is also cool it also has an ota updater i mean it, it uh, basically searches for the ota and you it will, you, it will just for, uh, forward you to the link of it it does have one plus settings where you can customize the alert slider which is pretty cool these are all the options which you get with it you can also select none if you have an issue with that swap buttons are also available and also screen of gestures are available where you can customize that personally i don't use that and that is pretty much it in the uh, feature section as you can see it's a very minimal rom it doesn't have a lot of features but that's how pixel has always been it has now playing option which is a pixel specific feature i really like that and uh, it does give you a, an experience which is akin to pixel roms or pixel phones so i'm really happy with that so feature wise i mean it's not much but hey it's honest work now the battery life the battery life on this one i mean i am pretty impressed with the battery life on this i've been getting consistently one percentage of uh, idle drain and uh, almost 10 percentage of active drain which is really really cool uh, the phone can be used for almost two days one and a half days is the normal uh, if you're not gunning it you can get a screen on time for about five five and a half hours which is not bad for a device which is about three years old so I'm really happy with that. It works really well. I'm really happy with the battery life. Now the performance of the ROM. I don't have the scores of it right now because I had to format it uh, for my mom to use it. The scores are basically where you would uh, where you would find it. About 165,000, which is normal stuff for the OnePlus 3. So performance-wise, I'm not gonna say it's better or worse than any other ROM out there. So pretty cool. Now the stability of the ROM. I have to say this is one of the most stable ROMs I have used on this device. Like. It doesn't have any issues and uh, I'm using this for the perfect scenario. I mean, my mom uses the phone and uh, this is like the perfect user-friendly ROM for someone like her uh, who's not a technophile doesn't uh, bother her to use this phone because it's very simple it doesn't have anything it doesn't crash it just works I'm really happy with the stability on this ROM a uh, camera it actually comes with a uh, stock camera application I mean the Snapdragon camera application is what it comes with and as you can see this is one of my only problems uh the camera doesn't work i mean you will have to install a third party camera application and camera will work in that regard but i mean the stock camera just doesn't work so just keep that in mind i use footage camera for a, whenever there is an issue with the stock camera but i mean you can use google camera you can use a lot of other things and uh not really sure why the camera is not working i have the same issue with cardboard rom also when i tried that out so keep that in mind so camera i mean it's a dud now the aesthetics of the rom although it is a pixel rom like it is uh, a wholeheartedly pixel experience it still has the uh, color accent collection and all that which i really like you, you can't fault the rom for not having enough uh, aesthetic options but it also already has dark mode it has the accent collection correction and it also has the uh, dark notification which is not something you see in uh, roms with dark mode so i'm really happy with that aesthetically it's better than i expected so i'm really happy with that now the overall experience of the ROM. Now I do want to mention that this is the Code Aurora or CAF Wush. Code Aurora project basically uh, more uh, suited to Snapdragon devices because it uses a lot of source code. And it actually does show, I mean, I'm really happy with the device as of now uh, with this ROM because it, everything works. The stability is top notch, performance is very good. The battery life is really good and I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the uh, overall experience on this ROM. It, it works and um, so uh, for someone who just wants to use their phone and would like I mean niceties like the uh, pics uh, like the now playing s songs option and a little bit of customization like button customization I can't see a better ROM than this one because it just works really really well high marks for that it works really well now let me show you guys the boot animation which I mean if you have seen a pixel which is like a four four year old phone now you should know how a pixel boot animation looks like. So there you have it, the pixel boot animation. What did you guys expect? A unicorn jumping out of a hoop? So 
I mean, that's just how it is. The Pixel Boot animation has been pretty plain. But that doesn't mean it's not beautiful. I like it. So, yeah. So, guys, there you have it. That is the Pixel Experience ROM. One of the better ROMs available for the OnePlus 3 if you want a no-nonsense ROM with, uh, I mean, no extra bloatware. And uh, it just works. Uh, the uh, dialer is P Google dialer, so you won't be getting call recorder and all that. But, I mean, a lot of people do prefer the aesthetics of uh, these this one uh, rather than anything else and uh, I'm really happy with that it does work it just works that's the whole summation of the ROM it works really good on this device and uh, for people who want to get stuff done hey it's a great choice so yeah I guess that much to say about the ROM then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye